There was once a beautiful palace surrounded by a great forest, and in that forest lived eight fairies. Seven of them were good fairies who had always lived there, but one was a bad fairy that had just arrived. When the first baby was born to the king and queen, they named her Daylight and invited the fairies to the christening party. The spiteful, uninvited eighth fairy cast a spell on the baby so that Daylight would sleep all day and wither with the moon. One of the good fairies tried to reverse the spell as much as possible and granted that Daylight would wake all night and that all the spells would break once a prince kissed her without knowing her identity. So, as the years passed, Daylight was lively and joyful throughout the night and slept all day long. And when the moon was at its fullest, she was most lovely. But as the moon grew smaller and smaller, the princess grew more bent and withered and helpless. Because she liked to be alone, Daylight spent most of her time in a little cottage her father had built for her deep into the woods. Meanwhile, not far away, a rebellion struck in a neighboring kingdom, and their young prince was able to escape in peasant clothes. The prince wandered until he found a curious little house in which lived a fairy that fed him and gave him a place to rest. The prince traveled on until dark when he spotted a girl dancing in the moonlight. He saw her there three nights in a row, and on the third night he fell in love. It was also on the third night that a storm struck and the girl fell in the confusion. The prince rushed to her aid and the two started a conversation in which Daylight mentioned that she had never seen the sun. The bad fairy was furious that the two had met, and so she cast a spell making it so that the princess would be lost until the moon was almost gone. So the prince wandered and wandered the woods with no luck in finding her. But one night, when the moon was almost invisible, he came across a little bundle resting under a tree. He found it to be a little withered old lady and built her a fire and tried to feed her and give her drink. But all the little lady could do was moan helplessly. The prince decided that he would take her to the fairy's house where she could be nursed back to health. As the little lady lay in his arms, the prince felt such a pity for her that his heart broke and he kissed her. He carried her for miles before he noticed that the little shrunken lady had transformed into the lovely dancer he met in the storm. Daylight explained her story and the two lived happily ever after.